friends so in this video we'll continue our discussion on tlb tlb stands for translation lookaside buffer it is used in the process of virtual memory to physical virtual address to physical address translation with paging we know that we are making the process slowly slowing means the virtual memory concept is making the process slowing down because of that twice memory access one to the frame frame number another is to get the data to overcome this we are using what translation look aside buffer the beauty of this buffer is that it will be there on a faster memory that is cache memory right actually this one uh, this tlb is there as part of your mmu so mmu is there on your uh, cache memory and there only one part is implemented as your tlb and the tlb see tlb is your system wise concept that means in our system there would be one tlb but page table for normal paging concept your for one process one page table will be there but tlb will be shared by all the processes present in the memory right and it in the uh, this tlb one um, entry consists of two parts one is your key or tag another is the value key will be nothing but your page number and value will be the corresponding frame number this is how your page uh, this tlb is designed so see in this diagram i'm trying to explain that the whole process use of tlb in paging first we need to understand tlb is present on a faster memory due to that the address translation process will become faster then the second point is what is there in tlb in the tlb we will be having the frequently used entries of the page table for a particular process so whatever process is currently executing or executed their most recently entries of their page table are copied into the tlb and in the tlb one entry consists of the page number associated control bits means what are the permissions are there on those page numbers read write execute dirty and all then the corresponding frame number is there these are the entries of your tlb for one process whatever are there they are there then for another process also there that means as a whole one tlb is there in the system now how it is going to help me in my address translation that we need to see see your address is given by what by your processor and that address has got two components one is virtual page number one is offset this page number is uh, checked in my tlb but how do i check can i index it no it is not possible because see for one particular process it is page number 1 and it is not possible that page number 1 will be there in my this entry only in the uh, tlb so see virtual page number is given by the this processor's address means whatever address is coming from the processor side this page number we will search in all the entries present in the tlb right if it is equal see here if it is equal then directly we can't conclude that it is a hit why because suppose you take on example say there are two processes one process has just completed say process p2 and in p2 process page number 1 page number 5 and 7 were used most frequently right so page number 1 entry will be found here right and then next i have uh, context switch to process number 7 now process number 1 process number 7 currently means process number 7 is executing and it is referring to page number 2 page number 1 and page number 4 right so see then whenever this process 7 is referring to page number 1 then i will search the tlb and i will get this one here but it is not a hit why because this one this particular one is not from process 7 it is from process 2 only so whatever frame number set is frame number 10 but this frame number 10 is not meant for process number 10 7 it is meant for whom process number 2 only so see if page number is matching that time also we can't conclude that it is a hit next what we have to see along with page once page number is found suppose page number is here and i am also looking for page number 1 then what i have to see 
Next part is in my TLB, one more component is stored that is called as ASID, right? Uh, means what is stored there is in your page uh, TLB with this entry process ID is also stored. Suppose this is page number one and it was there for process number four. So process number one, uh, whatever is, was the process number say, so process number five is also stored here. And whenever I was referring to page number one, it was for process number seven. So this seven is not matching with five. Because of that, it will be a miss. Please do understand this concept properly because one particular page that is being currently referred by one process, same number page may be referred. That will be there somewhere else in the secondary storage, but numbering may be same. So for the next process also, the same page number is referred. So if I will see in the TLB, I will get a hit. But actually, this page does not belong to me. Then the next part is, I need to see whether the process ID stored in the TLB is, is that of my process ID. If so, then only it is a hit, else it will be a miss. If it is a hit, where I got it? In the TLB. Where is TLB? In the cache memory. So I got my frame number quickly. So then I will take the frame number. With this frame number, I'll combine the offset and I'll get the physical address. This is one part of the story. Now, all these things have we have understood. The next part says, if it is a miss, then what I have to do? Then I have to go to my page table. In my page table, I will refer to the particular page number. Then I'll get the frame number. Then this entry, I'll copy into the TLB at some free uh, locations, right? That I'll copy and then again, I will proceed as the normal page referring, right? If suppose this part is done. Now suppose it is not guaranteed that whatever page number I was referring, it is present in the page table. That means it is there on the secondary storage. So that page number information is not there in my page table. The corresponding frame number is not given to me. So what that time what will happen if I will not get the entry in my page table, then what will happen? There will be a page fault. There will be a page fault. Page fault meaning is whatever page I am looking for in the main memory, it is not found. Then it will generate one trap. Trap means one uh, interrupt to the operating system. Then the operating system will suspend this currently executing process. And it will bring the required page from the secondary storage to the main memory. And wherever it has brought, for that page table entry will be updated. Uh, and then the process will continue. And then it, the, this entry will be uh, copied into the TLB and normal execution will continue. So it is a longer process, right? If it is a failure. Now see, this part already I have told. So when an associative memory is presented with an item, the item is compared with all the keys simultaneously. Because see here, my page number is compared, the incoming address page number is compared with all the entries of the TLB. So this, whenever I need to see everyone, then we prefer your parallel searching. And that is called as associative search. So we'll do the searching process in parallel so that my searching uh, will get a conclusion quickly and that and to do this searching will be giving at the uh, page number as the key to the TLB. If I get a hit after my that process ID matching, then what we will do? We'll take the corresponding value that represents what? Frame number. So if the item is found, that means it is a hit with all the respect, then the corresponding value field is returned. And the TLB contains only a few of the page table entries. That also we need to understand. When LA is generated, means logical address is generated by the CPU, its page number is presented to the TLB, right? If the page number is found, its frame number is immediately retrieved from the TLB and will be used in the memory, right? If no page is found, then we have to see the page table. Just now I told, right? And if the frame, then the frame number is obtained from the page table and it is used to generate the PA as well. Uh, as well as the page number and the frame number information will be entered into the TLB for quick future references. Because if I have referred to this page now, again I am going to refer it. 
so better to keep this entry in the tlb so that is done so the this part is done that is address translation in one word what is the benefit of using tlb it makes my address translation process faster the importance of tlb is it is speeding up the logical to physical address translation process this is in one line and how it is doing it that i have already explained the next is if tlb is maintained process wise um, then for every context switch what we have to do suppose first process 1 is executing then suppose context switch has happened to process number 5 then what i have to do whatever entries are there in the tlb everything i need to take means plus it otherwise suppose here one page number is there and that page number process 5 also wants to access it will get the wrong thing so because of that once process context switch takes place tlb will be flushed and then again the for the new incoming process again tlb will be populated this is how one way but this is not done to avoid this flushing and all what we will do some tlb store address space identifier in each tlb entry what does it this represent this represents nothing but the process id of the process that has been currently executing or referring to the tlb for the address translation process so an asd uniquely identifies each process so for every process asd i asid is there in the tlb and i know my asid so we can do the matching if it is matching then only it is a hit so this much is there in this video then next we will see some numericals on virtual memory as along with tlb also thank you